We're very excited about getting a new facility in. I think it'll, it'll create excitement. We were excited about it as soon as we heard about it um, and wanted to be part of it. Anytime you have a great phenomenal structure like what's about to be built, there's a newness and there's an enjoyment and an appreciation. Anytime you can get a state-of-the-art facility, it improves the quality of, of your city, of your town, of your region. With the Ag Expo Center being a multifunction venue, it's going to be used not only for the agriculture arena, but for all sorts of things. You can have concerts, you can have the rodeos, a business event to a livestock show. A digital classroom where you can reach out and you can branch out into a global network of people. We haven't even thought about all the potential that Ag Expo could have. Others would tell us the things that we need to do out there. Uh, we have over 100 staff members now. So when we bring all those people together, we tend to scramble to, to find a, a, a good place and the classroom settings would, would be excellent. Anytime we can connect um, the production side of agriculture, people that are physically feeding livestock and caring for them every day with people that eat food and the general population and have those conversations and that they can meet each other and get to know each other, there's tremendous opportunity there. You know, this is an economic uh, development project. There's no other way to describe it. And it's, it's probably one of the biggest projects that we've ever had like this in Northwest Missouri. You know, there'll be more business expansions out there, whether it's existing businesses or, or new businesses coming in. Uh, that's just always gonna be a good positive thing. If we were just defining a livestock show ring, this would not be a sustainable venue. If we were just trying to replace um, a more modern version of Civic Arena, it would not be a sustainable place. If we were just trying to create a hotel convention center in the middle of a pasture along 36 Highway, it would not be sustainable. But when we put all these pieces together, there's going to be an economic unit there that will work. It'll have an impact on a lot of other businesses, and that, that's what, that will happen for sure. Thank God it's happening now because uh, we need it. You know, if it, if it was going to happen 10 years later, well, we were just 10, year later, 10 years later behind the times and another community has, has started something already. And it's great that it's going to happen here in St. Joe.